Tell me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Bear. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What? Go, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm, intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you describe Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. <laughs> Figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Bear. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but... Say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert planters. You know, only one of us grew up in a city. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock brushing. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. You should be teaching science. Here to stop us. Actually, because you can't. 
Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been brick for... Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. say they're doing here they're trying to get their water supply back online I think we just discovered the problem Whoa! so let's get in there and clean them out
snipers on high. Shit, they're really dug in up here. Not seeing any of the nomads. Not alive, anyway. Don't worry about the map! God damn it, there's a lot of them in here! Gratitude, eh? All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. <sighs> Paddock, we just saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was <laughs> a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right. If we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. You try. I'm back. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Vascar in five minutes. Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of my mum. Why you turned out the way you did suddenly makes so much more sense. Inside. Seems pretty quiet. Could be a good sign. A very bad one. Ah! Yaya Dortmir, Yaya Kapsen! Bofar! Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? What? Ah! Cog! Estan is the new. And Paul's concealing pong. Robot, Obuki. Bofan Babin, Robot, Obuki. Wait. Robot. I, I think he needs Jack's help. Ota, Ota, Robot of Wookie. Robot of Wookie. What? This? Nahifu! Nahifu! Heads up! Incoming juvies! Let's keep him back! Shit! Bubba! 
up and running again. Ah, good to hear that. Soon we will occasionally shower again. That just leaves the old docks and our drill. If you can spare the time, please go there. All right, we'll do what we can. Delta out. I think we're done here. What do you say? Back to the skiff?
Get moving. Check on the old dogs. Now might be a good time. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess, based on what we've seen so far. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few up quietly.
Delta, you clear? Clear. <sighs> Here too. Paddock, we cleared out the old docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. Okay. <sighs> All right, Jack. It's, um, it's all you. Paddock, we got your pump station up and running again. Then you have my thanks. <laughs> hey, look who's here. No friendly local engineer from the water tower. Oh, fun up, Pookie. Oh, and she's as charming as ever. Iba durtin pin sere do po. Pesh na kirs udushnik malam. Divartari mimil se mundu pike. Abuna da manu du bushi. Koibo, mantoninis. Wow, there's a lady here wired up a. To her cloaking device. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay, for nurninin. As nos bo funny and no bookie. Uh, thanks. That lady is an absolute nut. I think it's time we got back to the skiff. Yeah. All right, Delta. Let's head out. Ah, oh, shit. Just realized. Forgot my sunscreen. Your sunscreen. I burn easily. Uh, Paddock, I gotta tell you. Some of your people are out here going kind of... What do you expect? They're trapped in an endless cycle of isolation and violence. Yeah, well, I can see how that would affect a person. They mean well. Many of them despise you and everything you stand for, but try not to take that personally. No, of course not. Look, we'll be in touch. Delta out. That's gotta be the rocket hangar. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket.
east. Paddock said there's plenty of storm out here, so stay sharp. Get inside. tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Let's get inside. Help me.
Bracken there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hack. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, bear. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, hey Jack, let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Whew, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive, semi-sentient. Don't worry, Jack's got this. R right, buddy? Huh, no virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Got it. I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're Basgari. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Basgari with me right now. They didn't want to see me different. Okay. What now? Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Is it then? <laughs> Finally, something I can try. Come on, you lot, all aboard. Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Oh, shit. Swarm ahead. Knock it off! Oh. Oh. 
Them all. Now, let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. 